Hi there, Cancer. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 24th of June. You can find yourself in the grip of some very contrasting energies this week. On the face of it, relationships still may remain very much to the fore in terms of your thinking. Last week's full moon may have made you feel very restless, and this may continue. And yet people who really help you to expand your world and you find exciting and interesting and people who perhaps challenge the perceptions you've forged in the past, you can all find this really quite amazing. If you are interested in any kind of spirituality or personal development or even traditional religion, this can be an inspiring time for you and you may encounter someone who does seem to have a magical input in your, into your thinking. However, on Wednesday, two things happen. Mercury, the planet of communication, starts to go backwards in your sign. And one project that's very uh, important to you could actually go through a period of stalls and, and pauses, which could prove hugely uh, frustrating. But equally, Jupiter, the planet of good fortune, arrives in your sign for the first time in 11 years. And this is going to be with you for 12 months. Now, when I say good fortune, that's the traditional uh, term for Jupiter. And more modernly, we tend to think of Jupiter as an opportunity to galvanize ourselves. And therefore, that will create good fortune for you by your own actions. But that window is there for the next 12 months. So there's a bit of a contraindication there. Short term, you may go through some kind of stutter. Longer term, things look bright from this. Now, Venus actually moves on Friday into a part of your scope, which could trigger an immediate improvement in your finances. If you have been waiting for some kind of payout, a rise, or you've started a new job and you've yet to be paid, then the rewards can come to you towards the end of this week. Unfortunately, the sun in your sign then pitches up against in an opposition with Pluto. And you may find yourself encountering someone who wants to prevent you from being yourself. It seems to limit you in some way, and it could come through work. If you work for someone who's rather unpredictable, or always making last minute changes to what you need to do for them, or wants to change the way in which you work, this could be profoundly unsettling, especially if you're fully conscious that they hold the strings of power, simply because they obviously can, can, uh, can pay you the money you need to keep things going in the more practical part of your life. So some politics could coincide at the end of this week, and with the moon combining with Uranus, on Sunday, it may leave you feeling very chopped up and sort of restless and really not that ill at ease. But the big picture is actually really very positive and that's what you need to hold on to. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.